Hey, what's up guys? It is Harrison Barron, The Money Entrepreneur. Now in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about like a blog funnel. So you're probably wondering what a blog funnel is and why it's even necessary. So I'm going to tell you guys a quick little story, draw out exactly what happened with uh, one of my customers and then how he resolved it and how he fixed it. So this is what happened. So we had a, I had a customer of mine I'm going to draw over here and they had blogs, right? And I apologize, my handwriting is not the best. But they had all of these blogs, right? About a hundred and change of them. And they were all getting a decent amount of traffic, right? Between these three, they were all getting about a hundred thousand clicks and visits to the website. And ultimately, this was driving more traffic than they've ever seen or had before. But the problem is, even though they were getting a hundred thousand visits, they weren't monetizing anything. And 100,000 visits is great, but if you're not actually making any money on it, it doesn't really matter. So they brought me in, they said, you know what, how do we do this? And they know this is what I do for people and what I do for a living. So I said, you know what, there's, there's gotta be some kind of series, there's gotta be some kind of sequence of events. So out of these three blogs, two of them were for employees, and one of them were, was geared towards business owners. That's supposed to be no. So these two may never make money, but this one may make money. And I don't want to give away who the company is and stuff like that, so I'm not going to get too specific on it because they are a little bit private with their information. But what's really important is these employees were potentially decision makers, and they didn't actually know that. But there's a way that you could weed out these people. So if you take and get rid of this down here, and you try to sort out, let's just say out of all of, out of these two per se, maybe 20% of the visitors are potential decision makers in buying or doing something for the business, which is great. But how do you get those 20% to actually call you? You can't just say, hey, if this is something that interests you, call me, right? So what we had to do is we had to build a blog funnel. And this is really cool because you can take and build multiple pieces of content and you can go through and drive traffic to these. And the cool part is, is you can put links in this blog, for example, and potentially even bring them over or starting a whole new section of blogs, right? These are all blogs. Right? And you could sift out and make sure that these blogs are going to be read by the right people. So you could say, hey, if you're interested in learning more about this topic and you might want to gear the next topic towards more decision makers, right? Where let's just say if this is, what are my rights as an employee, right? Well, maybe employees are reading that, but maybe there's an office manager or something like that that might be reading this blog. So how do you get them over here, right? So what are my rights as an employee? You can make this blog, what are your rights as a business manager or business owner, right? That's a really good blog because out of all these people, you're going to lose 80% because they're not gonna care about the, the next block. Who's gonna care is this 20%, this is where the potential money is. Now you bring these 20% down and you let them read the next blog. Now if they're interested, there may be one more blog in the filter and that last blog is ultimately gonna convert them over to money because now you're gonna give them, and I don't know how caught off I am on the camera here, so I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Actually, leave that. And let me get rid of this here you can drive them to the next blog. Now in this blog, there could be a call to action on here that says, hey, if you need help with this subject here, you probably came from this blog, this blog, and then maybe came to this blog, right? Or this may just go right down to this blog for a call to action. But now you're giving people a way to reach out. So 20% of people might actually come down here who are interested because they are the decision maker, somebody that could potentially buy and then from there, maybe only 50% go over out of that 20%. So really you're only getting you know, a small finite amount of people, but those people that come over here can spend thousands and thousands of dollars with you on a regular basis, right? Because they read these blogs. Now, I didn't mention this blog over here for business owners because they were getting a lot of visits to that too, but they weren't really sure how to, you know, how to get them to buy or anything like that or how to get them to fill it out, right? 
So for business owners, there's two ways that we could go with this. We could go newsletter, right? Get them on your newsletter. Hey, you know, we come out with information based on employee rights and things like that. Or you can bring them over to another blog, right? That gives them more education. And that could potentially bring you to a different call to action over here that makes people buy from you and brings them up to multiple money signs. I know it sounds really strange and if you don't have a blog, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but this is a common problem that I see in the SEO and digital marketing world where people are actually getting traffic, but they don't know how to monetize the traffic. And if you're not monetizing the traffic, your SEO could be the best in the world. You can get a million clicks a month, but it doesn't really matter because you're not actually leveraging the content that you have. So this is a great way to ultimately build an entire blog funnel where people are gonna flow through and I'll kind of draw it sideways so you guys can really get a good idea of what it looks like. Right, you're gonna have your funnel here and this funnel here is gonna to lead to sales. Right, that's the best thing in the world. And how to get people in the top of this funnel and down is these blogs, right? So you have to bring them through this funnel of other blogs, right? So there's different layers of the funnels, right? This one might be a blog. This one might be a video. This one might be another blog, right? One might be maybe an intro or an ask to join the newsletter, right? These are all really good things to ultimately drive the sale. And then once you have the sale, it's up to you to convert them over to higher up ticket items, right? Because everybody has a higher ticket item. So maybe it's an upsell, maybe it's something that they read, or maybe it's even once they sign up, say, hey, thank you so much for joining. By the way, this is everything that we do. Or maybe it's a video that says, hey, this is what we offer to our clients and what some clients really like. Some of us got yelled at, believe it or not, because we didn't tell them about all our services. I've literally seen that before where somebody got yelled at because they didn't tell the person enough about their services that they offer. So we came to the conclusion that they might need to offer or tell people about all the services they offer. Whether or not they buy, that's totally different. But saying, you know, hey, here's a blog or here's how we help people, right? Now they've already signed up and this is a great way to list off potential other items that you could sell for more money. And who doesn't want more money? So this is just a simple funnel, purely digital, that you don't have to do anything else. If you're already getting traffic, you might be missing just two or three pieces of content, especially if you're getting like 100,000 clicks a month, that could take you to 100,000 plus dollars in you know converting those 100,000 clicks to 100,000 plus dollars just by writing two or three articles that are gonna help convert people over. So I hope this video was helpful. It's probably one of my more Obscure videos, I know I wasn't in front of the nice colors and stuff like that, but I was just actually training one of my employees here and um, we came across this idea and he's like, I don't understand why you write so much content and you get so much content written and it was this, right? This is what I do for other people and this is what I do for myself. It's creating these content pieces that are gonna get traffic and then building these funnels all the way down to generate more revenue. So I hope this video helps. If it did, please leave a comment down below. If you're excited to start doing this or you're like, hey, I need some help or whatever it is, leave a comment down below. I'd love to see where you're at, if this is something that you did or something that you realized. If you had a really good success story, I'd love to hear it. Always hit the like button. It does help the YouTube algorithm. And never forget to subscribe. I appreciate it. And I want to make you more money. See you guys later.